Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again in this one. I decided we are going to jump and play the Crash of the Titans against Captain America with none other than Tony Masters himself, the Taskmaster. We're going to take him on and try to win that legendary token from this battle and go over his abilities. But on top of that, we are going to run into the taco vault the sweet variety here because taskmaster is available as a four star in this vault and we've got 600 plus tokens to go for him and i think we're going to try to get him two different times even if it takes 300 tries each so let's jump into the crash first and take on cap see if we can beat him with a couple of settings on different abilities i love taskmaster that you can choose which abilities you'd like to play in this case with the red ability we just have to choose star spangled avenger to uh hit cap with a little bit of his own medicine here let's keep it at level three it's only 2784 damage there but if you look it would uh, be 6685 at level five and a countdown that will return six red ap as opposed to just four at level three and we're going to change his blue ability from Speed Shot, which I really do like, over to Billy Club. In a one-on-one -on -one match, Billy Club is fantastic since it can stun the enemy for two turns with uh, only a one-turn uh, gap in between. And Moon Silver Blades is an excellent damaging ability, of course, from uh, learned from Moon Knight's Green. Yeah, but a cost of 12, that's kind of hard to get to in a single enemy battle. Let's get down to Shadow Step here. In a one-on-one -on -one match, Shadow Step is superb. I'm not joking. It does cost 10, so it's expensive. But this makes you invulnerable to any kind of damage while those trap tiles are on the board. And you earn a black AP back every time a trap is removed. It's really pretty awesome in a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go for it. So we're going to take on Cap with his own Star Spangled Avenger ability. We're going to try to keep him away from red. We'll go for blue to get the stun. He's also going to go for blue. He's only got 11,000 health. We're starting with an advantage at 17. And he's going to also go for yellow, but I'm not too worried about that. Yellow is a cost of 19. If he happens to get that, good to, good for him. Uh, he's uh, really not leveled up very high in this battle. Only uh, less than 1,000 damage for his 11 cost red. And uh, the development team was nice to us in this matchup. They didn't even equip his blue ability for that stun. It's actually a pretty good stun because... It, again, it's kind of expensive for Cap on his blue, but uh, you can play a, uh, the countdown on any enemy special tile, including countdowns. Building up for our black, and we're going to get it here. Should also get some red. We've got blue. This is perfect. Let's go ahead and play Billy Club. You really want to play that when there's not a match in blue on the board, but uh, that appeared in a really lucky spot for us. So now let's get more. Let's get our red going here. It's done for two turns, and he wakes up for one turn. Let's go ahead and play Shadow Step. Skill taken from Electra. Now, absolutely cannot take any damage while that trap tile is on the board. 11.58 damage back to Cap when he hits us. And, oh man, am I going to be able to get enough red here? I probably should have waited on Shadow Step a little bit. See how effective that two-turn stun is on a heads-up fight? Let's see, how can we get red going sooner? Let's 
Don't think that's going to do it. Let's see. Let's just take a shot here. And there we go. Another stun. Star Spangled Avenger. If we had a good spot to play it, we actually do. See that spot right there? If that countdown, got the damage here, that countdown was allowed to resolve off the board, it would drop that blue tile down and line up an extra move for us. We'll see if we can do some other matches and get that to happen. Oh, we got it anyway. Look at that. From the uh, Cascade, extra move. And Cap's going down here pretty quick now. He's back from being stunned. We've got enough blue to play Billy Club again. And now he's not going to wake up at all. As long as we can manage those. Keep those countdowns on the board. Actually need him to wake up so we can... Uh, Sidestep his damage. Shadow step. Taskmaster highly effective in that one-on-one -on -one battle. And we get the victory. And played each one of our abilities. Really cool. Get to the end for the latest Legends Recruit token. And now let's get over to our Taco Vault draws. Up to 300 draws. I hope it doesn't take that many to get Taskmaster from this Taco Vault. It takes a long time to save up. I, I save up over 300 so that when there is a 4-star character in here that I really want to go for... If you have 300 tokens, it guarantees you can get that specific draw before it's over. We're going to do a whole bunch of draws here. Hit number one is five health packs. There's a lot of health packs in here. 1,000 hero points. A good set of five different three-star characters. And then a ton of two-stars and ISO. I don't really need a whole lot of ISO. But all of those results will work for champion level reward so we've done one draw in the comments below put in a guess how many draws you think it's going to take before i hit taskmaster out of the 300 one down let's go let's see if anyone can get that number right one out of 300 is a pretty tough deal i wish i could do 20 at a time you know all in a row or something but this is going to be a one one at a time set lots of health packs going to come out of this Lots of two stars. There's a first hit of hero points, 250. Should have made a note of what hero points I started with and how much we get by the end. And uh, maybe one of you are adventurous enough to jot that down for me by the end of the video would be fantastic. Twenty-five draws is all it took to hit Taskmaster out of that vault. Out of 300 items. The viewer luck, once again, is absolutely astonishing. I can't believe we hit it already. Claim it. So what do we do? I've only taken out 25 items. There's still a latest Legends token in there and the hero points. That's an expensive vault reset at 1,000. What do we do? I think I reset it and we go again. 1,000 HP to guarantee we get another Taskmaster is probably worth it because if he was for sale directly for 1,000, I would probably spend it to go for it, right? Does that make sense? Seems expensive. We're doing it. 
Vault reset. And okay, now Wasp is in here with him, by the way. Everything else is reset to a full 300. 25 was our first number. You guys need to guess again and let me know how many you think it's going to take this time. We could do this two more times since I have 600 plus overall. Wow, what a, what a run on that 25. I'll bet this next one is going to be a couple of hundred tokens. We start Thor. But we got the latest legends token out of here. Claim it. Undraw number five. So crazy. We're going to keep going for Tony Masters. There was a nice hit of uh, uh, 5,000 ISO there, one of the highlight items. 250 hero points. Let's get that 1K. Another 250. And again. Lock and draw number 25. Oh, just ISO this time. So keep going. Wish we had an auto draw setting for this. Hope you don't hear me clicking on the screen. Another hit on Thor there. Keep in mind, certain three star characters are in here times five, so they'll be more often than a few of the randoms that come up. From the list and those are the characters that are in the rewards from Deadpool's daily quest in the second node there's patch Wolverine Iron Fist second node on the right side of DDQ another cap there Maybe we'll get every one of those three stars out of here before we hit Taskmaster again. Psylocke. Well over 50 draws in now on this on this run. Patch Wolverine again. Hero points. Now that roster slots cost me 2,000 instead of just 1,000. I have over 300 characters rostered for the first time. I fought against that number for a long time by selling Max Champ 3 stars earlier than I would like to just to keep my roster trimmed down. Another hit on Psylocke there. Got to the point where I just couldn't sell any that quickly. Is that a 10 pack of uh, health packs there? I think it was one of the highlight health pack items. Punisher. And the other ISO highlight 10,000 reward there. So we're getting some results on the very front page here. Wouldn't mind getting that Wasp on the way to Tony Masters. Closing in on a hundred draws. Another patch. Hero points. 
Daredevil. Almost purchased the 10 pack. Don't want to do that with all these tokens. So many two stars will be the, in my inbox after this. We'll level those up some other time. Lots of three stars, of course. There's another hit. Daredevil. And, of course, a few four stars from the Anniversary Vault. Thor again. And from the Taco Vault. I do think I might take another run at the Anniversary Vault once it hits my midnight and the discount sets in again. And we'll be really down on hero points, but a whole bunch more coming our way once these champion rewards are leveled in. And we'll start the saving process over again. Maybe toward after your anniversary, toward year end, we'll have another pretty awesome set of vaults for holiday stuff. Where are we at here? 130 draws. And no Taskmaster yet. Hero points again. Ah, uh, man, we might go all 300 this time. There's Cap. I probably deserve it after running really well on that 25 draw hit on Taskmaster last time and the legendary token right away in this run. Patch Wolverine. I think we're really wiping out those three stars. Yep, only one more patch left and one, no, two more Thors. Okay. Hero points again. Now you probably see why I wanted this to be a separate video from the previous one. Taking a long time. Daredevil. Well over 150 draws in. Daredevil again. Anybody predict 200 draws or more in this vault run? You might be right. HP. Hundred and eighty draws done. And there we go. Got the photographic reflexes. His black ability this time. We did get red the time before. Hundred and eighty plus draws. Wow. Way to go, guys. Just over halfway to get it a second time. I'll take that. I think that's pretty good odds when you average the two big time. And okay, 181 and 25. That's pretty good. Plus the LT1 out of those two vault runs. We've got 432 tokens remaining. I'm going to think about running that again at the midnight consideration for the anniversary vault flip. Maybe we'll do that on a separate video just for fun. Let's end it there. Way to go with the results check it out 260 rewards to claim let's take a, a just a quick add of the 171 two star covers 40 three stars and four stars from these vaults and a little bit more works out to be 18 four stars we can add in very soon nice job on hitting those taskmasters from that special vault. 
lots of fun. Thanks for the viewer luck, guys. We will see you in the next video coming up really soon. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet so far. See you then.